Taking notes for thy fork spoon. Fun. Talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting it. That's what I'm doing. All right, um, yes. BYO drunk story, baby. I, th- I enjoyed right. last. I enjoyed last week when we did BYO of the news article. So I thought, Agreed. bring your own story. Mm-hmm. Who wants to kick this off? Uh, everyone's looking at me. Hang on, Fine. hang on. I think I know what story okay. yours is going to be. So I'm bringing. No it. idea what yours is going to be. I know what I want yours to be, but okay. it probably won't be. I'm I want to say that story so bad. You probably can't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Mum and dad will slip my throat. <laughs> Can you make a tame version? No. 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 The best cannot... parts are the worst parts. No, you can't tame these things. All right. <laughs> They're not going to listen to this, surely. I, I know there's not the one I know there's the oh. one you want me to say, so I'm going to say a few and you pick which one I say. What? No, no, no. Don't do that. You pick one your favourite. But I want the reaction of you two because you've not heard them before. Go one we haven't heard. Go. Okay. Just so. the topic. Like, like we're really reading a news article. Go, okay, quick. I'm, I'm saying that I'll say them and you pick which one. So the twelve thousand dollar pair of shoes, the the <laughs> what? Um, the, Bud- the Budapest night out house rave and cup scam, and Poland bar crawl the hundred and fifty drunk army. Um, I think I like the first. I want to know about the shoes. All right, so okay, so this is when I was. And how the fuck did Scott Robinson come in contact with twelve thousand dollar shoes? I'll explain. So here we go. How long does this take, by the way? Pretty quick. I'll go, go. pretty quick. So backpacking last year went through Europe for two months. It was pretty amazing. So anyway, I went to Prague and I caught up with some friends that I'd met up in Paris and we all went out for a huge night out. So we had already been through a few pubs already then we were heading to this one club everyone talks about, which is five stories. Each story is a different club, dance floor and everything like that. It's amazing. So we got there and I just had enough money to pay the entry fee, which was like 200 kuna or something, which is the Czech Republic currency, which worked out to be like 20, 30 bucks or something. It's nothing. So I needed more money out. Me being a little tipsy, probably more than tipsy, a bit fuck eyed actually, went to the ATM and I was like, all right, I'll get 2,000 corner out, which is about $120. So I was clicking on the screen. I saw the two and the zeros and I went, beep, all good. Waited and waited and waited. Breathe. <laughs> and then all this money kept coming out of the machine. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I accidentally hit 12,000 kuna, which works out to be $730. You took out $730? Yeah. This doesn't surprise me at all. So the Scott, 12... probably only, Scott probably then only took the $100 that he wanted and left the rest there. <laughs> so the 12,000 pair of shoes is that I took out the 2,000 that I wanted and put the other 10,000 in my shoe <laughs> and then went inside clubbing. Did, was it still there the next day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept it. I did. I made sure I didn't lose I kept, it. I kept it. That's but good, Scott. At you, some point, at it. some point during the night, we were all pissed and drunk and everything. At some point during the dance floor, everyone was taking their shoes off and throwing it in the middle. <laughs> so I'm standing there, and they're like, "Take your shoes off, throw them in the middle." I'm like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck oh off. my god! They must have seen you, and someone's like, "Wait, this, there guy's, was a, this guy's got a lot yeah. of money in his shoe. Let's all start throwing shoes in the middle yeah. like, it's a, like it's a thing." Yeah, yeah, your turn. Everyone's looking at you like. Your turn. I look really. Sh- I, look, for your okay, I look really strange because I like I didn't want to risk fucking up the money, so I was like shuffling with one leg. <laughs> oh my god! Doing yeah, the stanky wrong, leg. What's wrong with that guy who's got the concrete leg? <laughs> it's a good story. I, I actually did like that story. Yeah, I'll do, yeah. You're up now. Go. Look, mine. Mine's pretty famous in our um, friendly friend group. So we went on a. We went to the Brazil World Cup, football World Cup. And then we finished off meeting three more of close friends in LA and Vegas. And basically how it went was um, we went, where did we go that day? Oh, we, it was the first day that they all got there. We went down to the chemist and bought, like a, it was like a 1.5 litre bottle of vodka for like, I can't remember, I think it was like 13 or 14 US dollars, which is next to nothing. All right. Went to the room, we started pre-drinking, me and my mate Flick, mm. you know, Sometimes we can drink a little bit too much at pre-drinks. What? Yeah, I know. You wouldn't think so, but, you know, it just these things happen, you know. You just start yeah, talking about the happens. weather and stuff. But anyway, so anyway, pre-drinks got a bit heavy. Anyway, long story short, it was a bit blurry, and then I woke up the next morning, fresh as the daisy. Oh, in my eyes, I thought that we just pre-drinked until about 10.30, and then literally woke up, and Farron was in the bed next to me and Flick was there too and I was like, oh, that was a pretty good night. We got a Universal Studios today. It's pretty cool. 
Took about five minutes and Farron realised that I didn't even know that we went out. And Farron goes, we went out last night. And I went, no, we didn't. And he goes, we went out last night. I said, no, we didn't. I thought I genuinely, for about 15 minutes, thought he was having me on. We even went down and had Starbucks coffee. And he's like, no, we went out. So apparently we went down to a place called the Rusty Mullet. Wow. And I was in there. And, you know, I might have been trying to talk to a few people. You know, you know what you do. You know, you know what I'm saying. No, and, uh, I don't know. You so. don't. <laughs> okay, I'm not going on with that. <laughs> anyway, apparently I was like, I was like, wait, boys, leave me alone. I'm in here. And they were like, they're telling me to take you away from them. And I'm like, nah. So then Butts put me in a headlock and took me back to the hotel. And apparently when we got in the lift, I'd calmed down. And I stood in the lift really quiet. And then I pressed every single button of the lift. <laughs> and then, so you can imagine Big Butts. He was not happy. And then oh apparently God. at every level. Did I'd you know, just to just interject, you can actually click the same level button and it actually turns it off. Did you know that? No. Yep. Not for Are all you elevators. Every elevator. I've tried it. It e- doesn't work like that. All, not all of them. How did you know I was going to say that fact? You if mean, you now know that fact. I've pushed buttons multiple times. No, you, it actually does work. You I'm can double click it. No, you don't so just keep doing that. You so double click, like stop, and it turns off. Oh, every double single tap. button. Yeah, oh. every single button. Any button. If you accidentally click a button, if you double tap, oh. it turns off. Oh. Anyway, continue. continue. Well, anyway, double I clicked tap. about 30, and every time the doors would open, I'd run off out of the lift and run around the floor like I'm, a maniac. I know, pain in the ass, you drunk. And I'm just imagining <laughs> that drunk. I'm not like this anymore. That's why I'm saying the story. I am exactly like this. Oh. I run away. Anyway, so long story short... I woke up the next morning and um, we had to go to Universal Studios rough as guts and uh, Farron wanted to fight everyone because everyone was drunk and sick on the way to there. (laughs) It's a pretty good story. No, he didn't actually. He was good. He was very good at patient actually. Um, What have you got, Ryan? The story that I've chosen, unfortunately, isn't the one that you want. Next to the beach party. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna say it. It's a terrible story. Yeah, it's I thought it was pretty funny. Like, we, I think we we were going for sole entertainment, but you kind of. It's all right, mate. Look, when you try these big projects, you don't always get. Should there. I say you know my story? No, no, you can't. We don't no, have time. Fuck that. Next time. Well, that just means that we don't even have a winner in this one. Ryan's a loser. Yeah, Ryan, that just sucked. Yeah, dick. you suck. I can go burn your arm. You again. know how hard it is to think of a story. Go get, go Apart from my other story. Go burn your arm again. That's my only story I remember for the rest of my I, life. I wrote down five. I don't even have one apart from yeah. this other story. Yeah, we can't say that. It's impossible. What if I just did it? <laughs> okay, say it. Make it quick. Go quick. You've got to say it quick. <laughs> All right. I'll Hang on, but, but you've got to like think about it. I'll say every detail. No, you okay. can't. I'm going to say every detail. No, you can't. I am. So we landed in Thailand, and our po- our guy who was driving us around was named was Coca. I'm gonna go through this really quick. Anyway, so actually Co- no, because what we can do is just edit out your first story, and at the end say, "Don't worry about it," because that was sh- asshole. Listen to his real story. Continue. It's a good idea, All right, guys. So my story. Yeah, we could. Uh, okay, ready? Okay, ready? Let's act like nothing. So you just go and Ryan, what's your story? Go that. Oh yeah, and my story's over now. So we'll just turn to Ryan, who's not gonna say a shit story for five minutes, and then we're gonna do his real story. So he didn't hear his. Here's now his real story. <laughs> Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, okay. So oh, I give it a two. Oh, too far. <laughs> I'll still make it. Okay, I'll still make it a quick story. So, fuck me. Our guy. I was so hopeful for Scott, this. Scott, have you heard this story? I don't know. Okay. Shut up then. Let's go. Do not interrupt me. This is a go. big story and this is fucked. Mum and Dad hear this. I'm probably going to get. Well, we're waiting. Okay. So. Our driver will go into Thailand for a wedding. Our driver who was driving around places, we had like seen the monkeys, we seen temples, seeing lookouts, all on the second day was Coco. And anyway, we get there on the first day and he, his driver uh, named Teb, who didn't know any English, was just like, eh, the whole time we were like, here's money. He's like, eh. You shouldn't call them monkeys. <laughs> Oh, too soon. <laughs> anyway, so he takes us to a hotel and we're like, oh, this is sick. Like, getting, we got a carton from 7-Eleven, as you do in Thailand, drink it in the room. Like, this is awesome. Anyway, Coco's like, come have drinks with us at our uh, market. You can have free drinks with us. Then you can come to our sushi restaurant and then I'll take you to the best ping pong show that no one really knows about. Oh. Um, we're like, we want to see one. Anyway, first night, we go to this market. We have a couple of beers with him. We get along really well, have a good chat. 
go to a seafood restaurant. He's giving us these premium lobsters, like good fucking lobsters, and tallie changs. He keeps bringing them after us, after, after, like beers. What's a chang? A beer. It's the Thailand beer. It tastes so we're, like dick. It tastes like a, it just tastes like a, a shitter forex. Anyway. So the ping so pong balls. We're smashing it, and we're all, we're kind of blind now, and he's like, do you guys want to see the ping pong show? We're like, yeah, of course we do. All right. Yeah, get to the ping pong show already. I'm excited. This isn't the fun part of the story, Scott. We get to it. We go. Well, I'm thinking I was going to get stabbed. We go like up a set of stairs, down an alleyway, through a doorway, through a doorway, up a set of stairs. I'm like, we're going to get stabbed. Yeah, Thailand's dodgy, mate. We very know that. dodgy. Anyway, we come to this door, and moral of the story, we didn't know if we needed ID, so we had passports and wallets and everything on us. So we get to the door, and obviously it's Thailand. They're just like going through. Didn't care about anything to do with ID, which is what we should have thought. Anyway, we get put. We walk into this room, full crowd set up of chairs to our left. On the right, there's these special booths. And we're like, oh, yeah. And Coco's like, $10, you get the booths all night. We're like, fuck, yeah, $10. And then he's like, and tray of seven tequila shots, they're 10 Australian dollars. We're like, <laughs> you're fucking kidding me. He's like, yeah. So we're like, all right. We get sat on this on these benches, me, Brando, and Mitty. We get prime view of the stage. We see all these guys with their wives like looking at us like, fuck them, they're fucking lucky. Anyway, I'm, I'm hammered. Uh, we're, we're hammered after two trays. We get actually, we get volunteered. All, they were all men, by the way. Continue. Yeah, no, they're all girls. We, yeah, all, sure. we got put on the stage. You know the volunteers for the ping pong show? Yes. We got put on the show. Of course and you did. They're like to Mitty, here, hold the balloon in your mouth. He's like, yeah, no worries. Hold the balloon in his <laughs> mouth. Obviously not knowing what's going to happen. He's like, what's well, going to happen next? Next thing you know, the start goes bing, into the okay, balloon. Fast forward to the next morning. Okay, we're just saying the shit that happened that I don't even remember. Anyway, oh, I'm going to regret this. So, you regret this? You've already re- you'd regret everything you've just said. No, the next part I'm going to regret. So, I don't remember leaving the ping pong show, do I? don't I? Because I've been fuck eyed on tequila. Oh, I wake up in an alleyway the next morning. Mm-hmm. It was actually only an hour or so later, to be honest. It was daytime. It was morning. Anyway, I wake up in an alleyway oh. with just a shirt and my undies on. My pants are over on the left side. <laughs> what is up with you taking off your pants? I don't know. Okay, this, Wherever is, you this go. is the worst part. So I'm like, I, and oh. I'm telling you, this alleyway is like the size of this box. And I look and I'm like, what the fuck has happened? There's this little window here on the ground where you can like, crawl through and I'm like I must have crawled through there there's no way someone there's no doorways or anything I'm like I've crawled through here or something so anyway I get my pants I got my pants oh no sorry I didn't get my pants my pants weren't there my pants were somewhere else with obviously my passport my wallet so just, just rewind back a bit and he's woken up in the alley with just a shirt and underpants on no pants inside. no pants so I go back onto the street which is like down the side of a building and just in your undies. I look up and there's this yellow sign with like a red elephant and there's all these little miniature statues. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I walk out onto the, onto the main street and the worst thing was when I was on the main street, everyone acted like I was normal. I'm like, oh yeah, sweaty white dude with no pants on. Oh yeah, continue. <laughs> and then guy, guy comes up on a tuk-tuk. He's like, tuk-tuk, tuk-tuk. I'm like, yes, fucking please. So he gets me to my, my hotel. <laughs> He's like, do you have any money? I'm like, I don't have any fucking pants. <laughs> like, of course I don't have money. Anyway, oh. so I, I get to, I'm like, if I get to my room, my mates can sort you out. Like, I'll, I'll sort you out. He's like, okay, okay. So I get to my room, <laughs> come down a set of stairs, another set of stairs, and that was our doors. I come down the first set of stairs, and I come around the doorway, and I look, Midi and Brando are sleeping outside the door because I had the key. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and oh. and Mitty, Mitty looks up. I'm like, what are you fuckers doing? Like, hung out of my brain. I'm like, what are you fuckers doing on the floor? Mitty looks up. And before saying anything, he just goes, where are your fucking pants? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't fucking know where I fucking am. Like, I forgot I'm in Thailand and everything. He's like, and he's like, what the fuck? And then as we say this, the guy that dropped me off at my hotel room, he's like, He's like, oh, I have a key because he's like, a, works at the hotel. He's like, I have a key to get you in if you want. We're like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. He opens us. The moment we get into the room, Mitty and Brando jump straight into the bathroom to vomit because they were sick. So obviously the next morning. So they jump straight in there. One of them gets in the bath. One of them gets to the toilet just vomiting. Someone starts calling the phone being like, you haven't paid the tuk-tuk at the front counter. I'm like, I oh will in a sec. God. Anyway. I need pants. <laughs> I, I message Coco off Mitty's phone and I'm like, hey, we got to cancel all the <laughs> 
hands today. We got to find all this shit. And then he goes, all right, you got to go to the police station, report it just in case it gets dropped in. So anyway, I get pants on, get changed. We go to the police station. Have you ever tried to tell a policeman that you've lost your passport in a different language? It's very fucking hard. And even one that knew English, English wasn't very and good. And with no pants on. So anyway, <laughs> Teb, our driver, was trying to still take us to the temple. And I'm like, Teb, we're not going to the temple. Take us to town. Oh, take so us he to didn't town. get told that he just weren't doing your things No, anymore. he was just like, temple. I'm like, I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, not temple. Town. Town. Pants. Pants. I'm like, main, main, we main need street. We to my pants. I'm like, main passport. street. Main Ted. street. Main Ted street. Passport. He's like, he's like, temple? He's like, okay. Ping pong. He pants. Gets, alley. He, he gets, honestly, like the busiest highway in the middle of the town. Stops and goes, Town. <laughs> like, yes, this is fucking town. So we're like, all right, we're going to get out of here. I'm like, J- Mitty, let's just get out. I'm like, Teb, we will find our own way home. Don't stay. He's like, oh. okay. Were you wearing pants at this point? Yes, I okay, had pants good. So Temple. we start walking laps and Mitty's Fuck like, me, Mitty's now over because he's hung over and he's like, I'm never coming over fucking seas with you boys. He's like, this is fucking stupid. Anyway, we walk around and we're almost giving up and then Mitty goes, let's try this down this alleyway. Let's just, let's just see. We go down this alleyway. I look up. I'm like, you're fucking kidding. He's like, what? I'm like, there's that little elephant sign that I saw this morning. He's like, it's here. It's around here somewhere. I'm like, it's down there. We go to walk down the, the side of the building where the alleyway was and now there's two people there, random people having a cigarette and they're like, no further, no further. I'm like, mate, someone took my pants and ran down the side of the building. Oh my God. I need to see if they're down there. And he's like, no further, no further. This is private property. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, all right. I'm I was like, here with no pants this morning. It I'm should like, be fine. I'm like, I know. I walked out so easily. I'm like, all right. I'm like, what hotel is this? He goes, you're on the side hotel. I'm like, fine. Go to the front of the hotel foyer. And I walk up to the counter and me just thinking, I'm just like, my mate lost his pants and passport and phone and wallet. Is there any chance you guys have it? And they all just start, like, they go, hold on a second. And they all start talking between each other. And I'm like, oh, fuck it. This, they're probably going to go, no. They turn around and go, we have pants, passport, wallet. I'm no like, way. I'm like, you're fucking joking. They're like, yeah, what was his name? I'm like, my name. It was my name. It was me. It was me. I didn't care then. I was like, it's me. And they're like, Okay, what's your name? I'm like Ryan Lee Robinson. I was second to the twelfth. Like, okay, that's fine. It's fine. I'm like there were there were chinos. There was Nike shoes. Like because I didn't have shoes on either. It wasn't just shoes. It was I was barefoot. Oh so I had my shoes on, and I was like, they anyway. The cleaner brings them out in this really small moist bag, and oh. she's and she's like, <laughs> here you go. And I, I'm like, I love you, Fajit, or whatever her name was. I was like, I love you. This is fan- this is the best moment I've, I've ever I've ever had. And I'm like, where did you find this? She goes, I woke up. I'm on second floor. I look out window. On my ledge was pants with passport, phone, wallet, everything in it. I'm like, oh, how the fuck? So you folded it. So I must, I must have just gone in anger, like in drunk anger, just gone. Hmm. How I don't the re- fuck were you angry at your pants? I don't, I don't fucking reckon, know. I don't reckon, it. Freedom. I don't reckon you. I reckon you just thought that was your room and just went. Oh, pants here on the next to the bed. There, there, there. Two Boom, stories sleep. up. Well, you jumped pretty high before you went to bed. Then. Oh, to maybe you up jumped. Here. Maybe you jumped from that room. That's a bit dangerous. I didn't wake up with any cuts or anything. Anyway, yes. So that was the Mahola story. And I then came oh, home and told. Fuck me, dad. I then came home and told mum that I dropped it in a cab. In a car. That's what I got told. They that know the true story, though. I told them. No, they don't. I told them. No. I did Fuck tell them. me dead. What is wrong with you and your friends? Can you not see, control you know how, yourself? See, not... You have $10, sh- $10 drinks of seven shots. Can I tell you what... You're not going to touch that up tell you what, Can I tell you what happened on this it's side, then? fucking Thailand. Mum... <laughs> Obviously, mum freaked out. Well, you know how she freaked out? Because she saw messages from... She had the work computer. You were still logged in on Facebook on the work on her work computer. So, so she was Coco. seeing all the messages to Coco saying, I've lost my passport. So you can imagine our poor mother freaking out, thinking her son's lost in Thailand. Little did she know that he was lost with no shoes and no pants. Oh, my <laughs> fuck. They're never going to hear, never gonna hear this anyway. As a they don't know how to read. Uh, was, we're uh, just going to have to cut the, your first story because that was to. horse shit. I'm going to. But that is yes. funny as fuck. See, how much better is it when you do it properly? We didn't want to hear, but it's not, what else br- it's not do? bring someone else's story. It's bring your own Scott. story. And that was a ripper. Now you went from loser to winner. Yeah, I don't, you won. Yeah, but I didn't want to tell that story. Fuck it. It wasn't that okay. bad. We've all been there. We've all fuck, done it. What, as you would say? Stop. Fuck Bolton. Fuck Bolton. No. Let's just stop there. We've all been there. 
Yep. We've all been there. Yep. What, passed out in an alley with no pants? I've definitely not. In Thailand, with no pants, no wallet, no passport, thinking you weren't coming home. No. I locked myself out of my hotel room once. That's fine. Granddad did that accidentally undies. four times. In his own house, probably. Yeah, poor guy. I no. backpacked two months and I didn't have any issues like that. But then again, I was on my own and I didn't have a group of well mates done, to mate. protect me. So. Well done, You've done really well there. No, don't applaud me. Applaud Mitty. He somehow got home without killing me. Well done, Mitty. Well done, mate. You guys, still need, to sort, well you done. guys still need to sort yourselves out. But yeah, Okay, good story though. Cut it up. Put a fork in it. Eat it with a spoon. Thank you very much. See, thank you very much. <laughs>